Hey, welcome back! We've now unpacked all of the equipment, and in order to use the Anycast, it's time to set up. This part might be a bit boring, but don't worry, I'll get you through it. So, let's first start with setting up the camera. Set up the camcorder as usual, except do not install the battery yet. Let's place a sandbag on the center spreader of the tripod to make it more safe and steady. Place an unrolled power cord on the center spreader, and connect a Panasonic power adapter to the camera of which there's a connector for this on the inner right of the battery compartment. Use gaffer's tape to attach the power adapter to the tripod, and make sure that the power cable isn't pulling on the camera when the camera is panning and tilting on the tripod. Now, connect the camera's HDMI output to the HDMI to SDI converter using a short HDMI cable. Carefully attach the converter to the camera's top handle using zip ties. Connect the converter's power adapter to the converter and plug it in the power cord at the base of the tripod. Set the camera settings according to this checklist. Uh, where is that thing? Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. First of all, reset the settings of the camera. Then, you have to change some of these settings. If you want to know these settings, just pause the video. Now, it's time for the talkback system. The talkback system is an intercom system, which allows the director or editor to communicate with the camera operators or other people in the production. The system consists of a main unit and a box of belt packs and headsets. Start with setting up the talkback system from the main unit and connect an XLR cable to a rear output of the talkback unit. You'll see two outputs. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Then connect a headset to the belt pack. Connect the other end of the XLR cable to a belt pack. Connect an XLR cable to the XLR output of your first belt pack. You can now connect another belt pack to the other end of that cable. This way you can chain belt packs together. And that is how you set up the talkback system. Easy, right? Going back to the camera. We have to connect it to the Anycast. To do it, we will need a BNC cable. Before you connect your camera, make sure you have the correct length of BNC cable. There are two types of reels of cable. Small plastic ones and large metal ones. But we'll focus on the metal ones for now. This has a screw on the back that is used to lock the reel whilst it's in transport. Make sure to untighten this screw before trying to unroll the reel. Take the end of the BNC cable that is on the outside of the reel. Have someone hold the end of the BNC cable near the camera and start unrolling the reel towards the work table. When you reach the work table, put the reel under the table. Untie the end of the cable that's coming from the middle of the reel and connect it to one of the SDI inputs of the Anycast. You can leave any unused lengths of the cable on the reel. If you're using a big reel, make sure to tighten the locking screw when you're done unrolling it. Think we're done with setting up everything? Nope. But almost, let's just mention a couple of important things. After you've set up your microphones in the places they need to be, run the cables back to the Anycast. The same rules apply here as with the camera cables. Connect the microphone cables to the XLR inputs on the Anycast. Certain microphones will need phantom power to operate, so next to the XLR inputs, there are four small switches marked plus 48 V which allow you to turn the phantom power for each XLR input on or off individually. When phantom power is on for an XLR input, a red light will turn on next to it. The most important thing to remember is to not connect or disconnect anything from or to an XLR input that has phantom power enabled. Turn off the Anycast system before connecting or disconnecting any phantom powered microphones. Last, but not least, let's take a look at the cables, which connect everything to make this all work. When everything is set up and connected, make sure cables pose no tripping hazard. You can do this by using gaffer's tape to tape down all the cables that are in proximity to each other. Avoid placing cables where there is a chance that they'll be run over by wheels or where people can trip over them easily. Well, that's it! Although it takes some time to completely set it up, it's completely worth it because now you're ready to shoot your live video. Enjoy!